Hi family, welcome to my YouTube channel and if you're seeing me for the first time, please consider subscribing. Today I'm going to talk about what is happening in Kenya. In case, I wouldn't assume that everyone knows what's going on, but even before I go there, I, I want to send my condolences to everyone, every Kenyan who lost, who lost their loved ones. In the in the peaceful protest where young people were gunned down by the police and armed young people were gunned down by the police all they had was their, was their phones their placards been so bad even i have someone very close who has lost their cousin and it's really bad it's so bad in kenya and in case you don't know what is happening in kenya we have protest demo <laughs> demonstrations happening in the entire country because we are not going to take the finance the punitive finance bill that they want to impose on us because we are tired. We are so tired. As young people, we are so tired. We are tired of the corrupt Kenyan government and actually most African governments. We are so tired. The other day, I put up a video. I put up a video about uh, the demonstrations that are going on in my country. And at some point, it was up for like 10 hours when I woke up in the morning. I saw messages from some of you. I thank you. Who are telling me like the wise thing to do right now is to take it down. And because of everything that has been happening, there is ab abductions in my country. Young people are getting abduct abducted. But that that is not even the worst thing that can happen. The worst thing that can happen is the young people who has lost their life for what because of a piece of paper because of a piece of paper that can be changed because people are so heartless because because we have monsters in the government who don't care about young people losing their lives let me tell you in these demonstrations mostly you'll find uh, it's it's a revolution. No one is leading this revolution. No one is leading it. It's because of the anger that we feel as young people of this country. The anger that we feel because of the oppressive, oppressive, the corrupt Kenyan government. But what hurts, hurts, hurts me the most is the people that has lost their life. Like, why like these people had nothing and the police were gunning them down we had snipers targeting them and oh god it's just so bad like imagine an armed people being killed by snipers targeting them on their brains oh my god i saw those i saw those videos the pictures the brains scattered just on the road blood the bloodshed is just so bad just because of a piece of paper young children having over 10 bullets i'm so disappointed guys i'm so disappointed in my government um i'm really disappointed i really hope things will come to an end and one thing I love about my generation, there's no, lead, there's no one leading this revolution. It, it's so organic coming from the fact that we have been oppressed enough and you're not afraid to raise our voice. We want to see accountability for everything. I know my voice is small. My voice is small, maybe I'm talking to one or two people, but I know it can make a difference. There's nothing to do, it has nothing to do with being political, but 
we have to agree with one thing whether you like it or not politics will affect your daily life everything that you do i saw this picture in rongai guys if you don't know um i used to study my school was africa nazarene africa nazarene is in rongai it's in rongai and that is where they were killing people yesterday the other day it was in gedorai and the other it's like it's just everywhere we've lost we've lost so many young people and it's enough it's not worth it it's not worth it to kill innocent people guys um this this poem that i was listening i saw it in the morning i was listening to it and it's got me very emotional maybe we can listen it together i don't know if it will bring i hope it doesn't bring a problem if i upload it but guys let's listen to this poem together we are tired honestly like for the last from tuesday because that's when the demonstration started it's like i froze I'm, i'm not i'm not even able to do anything i was speaking to my sister i was speaking to my sister the other day when the president when he withdrew he said that he has withdrawn the finance bill and we shared the same thoughts like my sister was telling me i have not been able to do anything i feel like i'm stranded guys let me tell you you've seen i've not even been posting videos or anything my heart bleeds for my country really bleeds for my country and for the young people that has lost their lives ah uh, this one that you're going to listen ah uh, it's about oh, anyway let's listen to it and you'll get it mama i made it by george and roge mama i made it i occupied parliament remember the hashtag occupy parliament demonstrations but tell daddy i'm sorry i won't come home tonight not because i'm spending at a friends no not because i'm among the injured no nor because i was abducted as they have to most of us that would have been better i'm in a cold dark place called the morgue mama I know daddy will be angry why I wore his shoes I had to I know they are bigger but I had to otherwise no one could have I know he will complain that I have read too much political novels please don't let him blame animal farm don't let him blame kidagaki memozea or tumboli snoshiba don't let him blame kifo kisimani don't let him blame shahikimea or parliament of old they can't be blamed i did it for our country they held us from being fearless mama they called it a historic moment actually unprecedented did you watch the news all over the country thousands of us marched forward wearing mostly black chanting slogans and singing revolutionary songs they call us gen z mama Some and pigs say we have watched too much Netflix and we eat KFC. Sorry for the spelling mistakes mama. I meant MPs. Did you see how we sang good day with MC Gogo? Did you see how Giuliani turned up and we sang Utawala? Did you that song you call Ikonja siwezi karanga? Did you hear us sing to Giangalie by Sauti Sol? Have you seen King Kaka's Wanataka Kutumaliza? Did you see how Mula Moa gave us tea and Mandazi? Have you seen all the comedians, content creators and influencers? I told you it will be big, mama. We marched forward, mama, slowly and peacefully like you told me. 
We said we were peaceful. They rattled us with tear gas and water cannons, mama. We coughed, cried and choked to the smoke, but still marched on. We marched amidst the sting of that pink water they sprayed us with those beastly vehicles. But nothing was more painful than hearing them pass that draconian punitive bill, mama. Remember how you used to forcefully give us porridge by locking us between your legs, pinching our nose and pouring a ton of porridge in our forcibly opened mouth? Remember leaving us with two choices, swallowing or choking to death. That is what they did to us yesterday, Mama. But unlike the past, today's child chose the latter, death. We approached the parliament as promised. We eventually occupied parliament, Mama, albeit briefly. The wall gave it and we entered. I am sorry I did not taste the rice as most did, Mama. All I tasted was the bullets, Mama. They sprayed me with bullets, Mama. That's why I won't come home. My battle is over, Mama. But not the Revolutionary War. I'm sorry, guys. I did not. I didn't. I did not mean to come here and cry. But listening to this, listening it from the perspective of a young people, of a generation Z, of a millennial who died on the streets. I hope this. Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it for young people to die because of a piece of paper? Let me tell you something, guys. You know, it takes it takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of passion, a lot of oppression for someone to be ready to die for something. It's worse to live on your knees. It's better, it's better to die than to live suffering. We are so tired and we really hope, I really pray for my country. Wherever you are, please pray for my country. Pray not just for my country, pray for the entire Africa. We pray for the time when accountability from government shall be the order of the day. I know this is a revolution and I hope every those people that have lost their lives it will not go in vain. I hope it won't go in vain. I'm so sorry guys I came here crying but I can't forget that the sight the sight of seeing bodies lying on the streets of young people like me. Lying on the streets. I can't imagine what their parents are feeling, the parents of those kids, the families of those kids. A time is coming when we'll have better governance. Please pray for my country and pray for every African country that is going through oppression. <laughs>